everybody. Welcome to the 25th anniversary celebration of East End's Miracle Makers program. We couldn't be happier to have you all here tonight. You know, the one thing that I've noticed uh, is that Miracle Makers always shows up. The kids, the parents, all the families. And that's been the secret to the great success that uh, our program has had over these many, many years. I'm Jan Laporte Jenelson. I'm the Executive Director of East End Community Services. My job is to um, help make sure that the, the funding is available for the wonderful programming that we do at Miracle Makers. But um, it's our children that are, we're all about celebrating today. So I've been asked to give you a little bit of a context about how we got started way back 25 years ago. So I was in the neighborhood and we had a teeny little staff for East End Community Services and we really didn't know what to do. So we went out into the neighborhood and we asked our families and the leaders of the neighborhood how we could help. And the answer that came back really was was powerful. At that time, the parents said to us, our children have no dreams. Help our children be successful. Now that's pretty powerful, and we knew we had to help. So uh, when we started talking about what dreams meant and how dreams can push our children forward, we came up with the notion of miracles. And Miracle Makers was born. Um, that name has stuck for all of these years. The first summer we did anything was the summer of 1998. We planned a six-week program um, for our kids to have something to do in the Twin Towers neighborhood. And um, so we, had, we were overwhelmed by the number of children who came, and we were just delighted. And by the um, third week of what was supposed to have been a six-week program, everybody got lice, and we had to oh. shut the whole thing down. <laughs> that was terrible, but we knew that we didn't know how to do an after-school program, and we needed to learn fast. So we started um, in, the, in the fall, and with a whole lot more precautions and understanding about how to run a program. Um, and then um, we were at St. Mary's Center. Y'all remember what St. Mary's Center is? It's, it's just a block away from the school. Um, we started there, um, had a lot of kids, um, and we started meeting with families. And the families said, you know, we're kind of frustrated because our kids really are not doing very well in school. This was a long time ago before any of you all were even born. So what we, um, we ended up opening the East End Community School. We opened up a charter school. And um, we were very fortunate to have attracted some great teachers. Um, Brian Ertzgard, who is now the principal of school. Where is Brian? There he is, up there in the, in the dark. Um, Brian, Mr. Ertzgard, was a teacher at our charter school a um, long, long time ago. Um, uh, Ms. Stroh, I know I saw Becky here. Ms. Stroh was a teacher at Miracle Bankers. Well, we did that for about six years, and in 2008, we merged with Dayton Public, moved into Ruskin, and it's all history since then. But for the good sense we had to make Miss Ellen the, the director of the After School and Summer Program. Miss Ellen, where are you? Poke your head out here. Come here. All right. Okay. Miss Ellen, I don't know if you know, but Miss Ellen started uh, working with Miracle Makers when she was a junior in high school and was volunteering to work with children. And I knew that she was going to be an incredible advocate for children because what Miss Ellen believes is that all children are gifted and that uh, the, we, it's our job to teach our kids 
um, and, and make sure our kids are all successful. Um, that if, if a child is failing, that's our fault as adults, right? Not the children's fault. So since uh, we came on, we, of course, uh, Ellen came on, we added all kinds of things, sparks. Everybody, who, who participates in a spark here? Lots of people. Okay, we brought in cue the music. Um, we had Lego League. We added yoga and um, uh, mindfulness. Um, <coughs> the engineering, Lego League, 3D printing, all the great fun things that you all get to do is because of Miss Ellen and her amazing team. Um, so I want to just thank you, Ellen. Thank you all, to all the whole staff. Um, and um, just recognize that there's a tremendous amount of hard work that goes into uh, everything that happens in those three special hours after school that we're able to provide for your children. I think it must be said, though, that the heroes in this room are the parents. Um, you make it happen. You make sure your kids get to come to Miracle Makers every day uh, and, and benefit. And you, pro you already know that your kids are doing better because of that extra three hours of enrichment that Miracle Makers is able to give them. So thank you, parents. Thank you, children. Thank you to the whole staff of Miracle Makers, both past and present. You have made this happen, and we couldn't be happier to look to the next 25 years with this incredible foundation that you've built. Uh, the next 25 years of Miracle Makers will be even better. So enjoy the program, and um, let's turn it over to cue the music. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ben Grable. Um, I'm from the Daneville Harmonic Q, the music program. Uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, historical background, uh, Q, the music's have been a part of Miracle Makers for the last 11 years. Um, and we are a five day a week uh, string program. We offer violin, viola, and cello. Um, the students come every day and they get group lessons, they get orchestra time, and also an enrichment class. Um, it's been really nice being at Ruskin, so we've had a lot of families that send all their kids there, so it's nice to have that kind of tradition coming through. Uh, this group that you're about to hear is our first year orchestra, so they started playing in September, um, and I think you're going to enjoy it. We're going to play three uh, short pieces for you, um, Russian Melody, Ode to Joy, and Finale. <laughs> no, I don't even call him a but I don't
right, so that was our first year. Can you believe they only started in September? That's amazing. Yeah, I'm really proud of them too. They put in a lot of hard work. You know, Q, Q isn't always easy, but they put in the work, and when you put in the work, you sound good. Um, this is, a, can you guys move up? Uh, this is our second year orchestra, uh, the Brahms Orchestra. We do have two kids that um, are sixth graders who have been in Q for what, four years? Three, about three. three and four years, respectively. Um, and actually, um, one of the missions of Q, uh, we're here to provide musical education to people that might not have access to it otherwise. And part of that is that we, one of our goals is sending our graduates off to Stivers. And um, to date, we've had 100% acceptance of our students who have auditioned into Stivers. Yeah. And uh, on the stage today, uh, we have Abraham here and Blair, two of our violists who will be going to Stivers next year. Yeah. So they're going to also play three pieces. Um, we're going to be playing um, a piece called The Old Boy. Um, we're going to be playing a St. Lucian folk song called Caban Eli. And then a movement of uh, Vivaldi's Four Seasons Springtime. So I hope you enjoy.
Wasn't that fantastic? Let's give him another round of applause. That was wonderful. So in a few moments here, our little ones will be coming down, but I just want to take a few moments, and if you are or have been a Miracle Maker teacher, I want you to stand up. 
Wave your hands. I want everyone big make the miracle magic happen. If it wasn't for them, none of this would happen. I mean, just think about how hard it is to get your kids to brush their teeth. And they're getting your kids to play the cello. Whoa, round of applause again. And next up, get tissues. Do we come prepared? Or hankies? Are we using hankies anymore? If you have a hanky. Okay. I'm signing off. Mike, Mike, I'm up here. <laughs>
voice, but I'm going to use this one right now. So, our next one is about a very special dinner, lunch, sometimes breakfast. If you're feeling up for it, it's a pretty good Italian breakfast. What do we like to eat? Pizza! We like to eat pizza, and we're going to sing a song for you about one of our favorite dishes, pizza.
Lakers Children's Choir. Can we get a, another round of applause? And thank you, Cyber School for the Arts. Yay! All right. How do you feel? You feel good? I'm, I'm very proud of you. So much dancing. All right, well, we're going to let these babies go back to the room, and then they'll get to see you in just a minute. Again, thank you so much. Let's keep that applause going, though. All the way until they leave. 